Hey everybody, my name is Silaman, and I am what you would call a resident at the Fireweed University. And recently, <clears throat> we have been given notice by the owner of a community space across from the Nate Healing Center. The owner wants us out by tomorrow. Um, somebody contacted Channel 7 News, and Channel 7 came out and did a story about it. Um, it's a community space. People have fixed up bikes for kids, and kids did community um, community service to to earn the bikes. And we've used it for full moon gatherings. We've used it for meditations, and <clears throat> apparently, it's about eighty six thousand dollars to own. Um, so this is Nick Bryce over here. He's also part of the fireweed, and he wants to take the owner to court because she didn't do anything with the building for well over a year. Well, it's not a matter of just like she hasn't done anything with the building over a year. It's the past nearly 15 decades, not decades, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, still, though, 15 years is a long time. And it just goes to speak to a lot of the situations in the city of Detroit where owners are just leaving their buildings and not uh, taking care of them or selling them off or whatever they need to do to make improvements or get, get them out of there. I mean, these buildings sit around and they just slowly rot in front of everybody's eyes. And... What is said is there's nothing we can do about it, and you know that may be true, but like I mean, the way that the system is set in place right now, I mean, we get the world that's around us, and if we're happy with all these empty, broken buildings, then maybe we should really ask ourselves some other questions like what is important to us what do we want to see in the world that we live in and that's really all I have to say so <clears throat> we have a problem in Detroit all these abandoned buildings slowly but surely crumbling to the ground and there are owners who own them but there's also people who don't own them that want to do something with them, that want to fix them up and make them community spaces or make them into, you know, a warm, cozy home. But something's standing in the way between people who want to do stuff and people who just want to say they own something. or I don't know what they're thinking when they buy something and leave it there for so long. So, Detroit... We're here for you. We love you. And uh, we'll see where this goes.